So in this video, I want to find the exact area between these two curves, so the shaded region that we have there. Now, once again, we don't know where these two curves intersect, so I need to figure that out first. So I'm going to put 1 equal to the other. So 2x squared plus 9x plus 11 is equal to 23 minus x squared. So if I add the x squared to both sides, I'm going to move everything onto the left-hand side. So we're going to have 3x squared plus 9x plus 11 uh, take away 23. Just make sure I don't get that wrong. Uh, minus 12. Minus 12. There we are. OK, so here's a quadratic. I can divide through by 3. So x squared plus 3x minus 4. Here's a quadratic that I can factorise. So x is minus 4, or x is 1. There's minus 4. There's 1. OK, so we're in business. We've got those two points. OK, right. Next bit is to then think about which integral I need to subtract from the other. So if I find out the area underneath this curve between the minus 4 and 1, I can get that larger area and then subtract the area below the uh, y equals 2x squared plus 9x plus 11 curve uh, between minus 4 and 1, leaving me with the shaded region that I want. So I first of all want to integrate the 23 minus x squared between minus 4 and 1. So we're going to have 23x minus 1 third x cubed, evaluated between minus 4 and 1. Substituting the 1 first, we're going to have 23 take away a third. Substituting the minus 4, so 23 lots of minus 4 is minus 92. And then we're going to have the minus 1 third times by minus 4 cubed, so 64 thirds. So we're going to have 23 take away a third, so 68 thirds. And we've got minus 92 plus 64 thirds, so minus 2, 1, 2 over 3. So 68 thirds plus 2, 1, 2 over 3 is 280 thirds. OK, so that is the area between this curve and the x-axis. OK, right, so now I'm going to find the area of underneath this second curve. So I'm going to integrate 2x squared plus 9x plus 11 between the minus 4 and 1. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So 2 thirds x cubed plus 9 halves x squared plus 11x evaluated between minus 4 and 1. OK, right. So I'm going to substitute in the 1 first. So 2 thirds plus 9 halves plus 11. Substitute in the minus 4. So 2 thirds, uh, two -thirds times by minus 4 cubed. So minus 128 over 3. Then we've got 9 halves times by minus 4 squared. So 72. And then we're going to have to take away 44 on the end. So 2 thirds plus 9 halves plus 11. So 97 sixths in the first bracket. Then minus 128 over 3 plus 72. Take away 44 is minus 44 over 3. So 97 over 6 plus 44 over 3 makes 185 over 6. OK, so that is the area below that curve there. So the total area, the area that we want, is going to be equal to the 280 over 3. Take away the 185 over 6. So one take away the other. And that gets me 125 over 2. And that's the exact area of the shaded region. 